A composite propane cylinder is an alternative you'll appreciate if you've ever logged a steel propane cylinder for your gas barbecue, or if you've ever run out of gas in mid-grill because you couldn't tell how much propane was left in the tank. Composite material is 30% lighter than steel and see-through. Composite propane cylinders are made of transparent fiberglass encased within a plastic housing. Propane, a liquid under pressure, expands as temperature increases. So, as a safety feature, the cylinder valve is equipped with an overfill prevention device, a valve shutoff that kicks in when you've filled 80% of the cylinder. This ensures ample room for the propane to expand. Fiberglass is actual glass that's been drawn into thin fibers, then woven into fabric or, in this case, yarn. It's the ideal material for a gas cylinder because it's strong, lightweight, rust-proof and non-flammable. A robot simultaneously winds 12 strands of fiberglass yarn over a steel form shaped like a half cylinder. The winding pattern is very specific, strategically designed to make the cylinder walls as strong as possible. While winding, the robot applies a powdered binding solution. This immobilizes the strands so that the shape won't collapse when the robot later lifts it off the form. The winding process takes about 45 seconds and produces what's called a preform. The robot transfers the preform over to the next machine, a molding press. It injects liquid plastic at high pressure, impregnating the fiberglass. Then it heats the preform for 10 minutes to cure the plastic. What comes out of the molding press is a fully formed fiberglass half cylinder. The top half cylinder needs to be prepped for the valve. First, an automated drill bores a hole. Then workers apply caulking around a valve fitting, set the fitting on an assembly fixture, position the hole over it, then press the fitting into the fiberglass. Now they mount the top and bottom half cylinders on opposing lathes. A computer-guided grinding wheel with a fine diamond grit surface trims the edge of each half cylinder to an exact specification. Then it machines a precise three-degree taper on each edge at opposing angles. Next, an automated nozzle applies adhesive onto the tapered edges. Then the lathes move toward each other, mating the halves. The tapered edges slot together in a tight fit. After the adhesive cures, nearly two hours later, this is a solid, inseparable cylinder which, as per the certification label, conforms to the standards required by government regulators. Every single cylinder this factory produces undergoes safety tests. This one, in a pressurized chamber, ensures the cylinder can hold the required amount of pressure. This submersion test ensures the cylinder is gas tight. If bubbles appear in the water, it means there's a leak. After a cylinder passes testing, workers install the valve, which is already connected to the overfill prevention device. The valving machine holds the cylinder steady while it turns the valve to the precise tightness the engineering specifications require. Now it's just a matter of snapping together the cylinder's two-part plastic housing. The housing has handles for carrying the cylinder. It also has a flat base to allow the cylinder to stand upright. Composite propane cylinders come in various sizes to fuel everything, from barbecues to patio heaters, even ride-on lawnmowers and factory forklifts.